in just hours, we'll find out which stars are taking home that coveted Oscars gold. After a three-year host hiatus, this year's show returning with history-making three female MCs. The world premiere of the Spider-Man No Way Home movie here in Los Angeles. This is the finale to the Homecoming trilogy for Spider-Man starring Tom Holland as Peter Parker. Primetime Emmy Awards are all about celebrating the best of the best of television. And what else makes good TV? Red carpet fashion. Mickey, we're currently in the stands of Hornet Stadium here and right behind me is one of three fields built by 300 volunteers for this event. We've heard of the Bakersfield sound, but what about modern soul? It's another genre of music born in Bakersfield, and it's all thanks to a black musician who has helped pave the way for more standout stars. What does it feel like knowing that that little girl in Bakersfield has accomplished all of these historic moments? Uh, oh my goodness, just hearing you talk like I'm Kind of like trying to fight back tears right now. And now she wants to be an independent witch woman, which is so cool. Um, and a lot of people <laughs> are just spending a lot of time with themselves during this year of this pandemic. So what kind of message do you want to communicate to our audiences now in this place of growth that they're all experiencing too? That's such a lovely question. Tell me just finally what your reaction was to seeing it on the screen. Well, you know, I, I was kind of, I was shell shocked. I was like, oh my <laughs> God. I was actually, because I was watching and I paused and I was like, wow. Like, that's my piece. That's my piece. It was <laughs> Which is there. right here. Yeah, it's right here. And she's very famous. We talked to some people about the show that we're sitting front row. And they said that they felt like in a time in this world right now, it's so heavy with, you know, the wars going on, that you guys really brought some joy and peace to people. How does that make you feel hearing something like that? That's that's all we could ever Mission ask to do. accomplished. Just such a interesting arc and diversity of not only having two Latin American families at the forefront of a primetime television show, but also the differences of experience. You know, we have people like Sandoval's who have come up in life and are now running this wine making company. And then these people that are just starting to go into the American dream. The beam that lit everybody up and then all of a yes. sudden it's making people happier. Exactly. It's like the light that we needed in our lives. That light is purple <laughs> and I'm hoping we see it tomorrow. Oh, great, Scott, Veronica. That was so cool. But we're going to Marty McFly it back to Brandon well Michaels. Done. Well done. <laughs> for music buffs looking for something to do this weekend, here's something that may be your forte. The Bakersfield Symphony Orchestra will be opening their 90th season to an in-person audience for the first time in two years. Now let me let you in on a backstage secret. Ubra says ballet dancers are used to pivoting. That's what they did last year during the pandemic. But she says there's nothing like being in front of a live audience on a stage like this one. You may see some familiar faces here, of course, Emmy and Oscar nominated Will Smith, who plays King Richard himself. But next to the young Venus and Serena Williams is another Another ace, Bakersfield resident and 13 year old tennis player Sophia Sanders. Tell me your names again. I'm Venus. I'm Serena. So, what'd you think? Before they became multi Grand Slam champions, tennis royalty Serena and Venus Williams trained under their coach and father, Richard Williams. That's what King Richard, starring Oscar and Emmy nominated Will Smith, is all about. They wanted me to audition for the part of a speaking role. And so I went with about 10 other girls, and we all auditioned for about four lines. And Venus and Serena Williams' stepsister, Isha Price, was actually there watching our auditions, and she said that I reminded her of a girl that Venus played in one of her tournaments. This is a film based on a true story, but for 13 year old Bakersfield resident Sophia Sanders, whose role in the film was a tennis player facing a young Venus Williams in her first match, life truly imitates art. Sophia is actually a tennis player and her father is her coach. From the stands to the set, Brandon Sanders has been with his daughter every step of the way and he thinks she's a total ace. Well, it's all uh, very personal to us. Not one of those sports where like you can just be naturally athletically gifted. You got to put in the time and the effort. Um, so, you know, you, you see that these girls, they just, they work so hard for 10 years to get to, to that pro level, right? And, and it's just, it's six hours every single day. It's waking up at 5.30 in the morning to practice. Hey, okay. Those hours of practice serving Sophia well. Out of 4,000 other girls competing for a spot in the film, she actually made the cut. 
Then she landed that speaking part, which she discovered on the first day of filming. It was probably the most nerve-wracking day of my life because Will Smith was there and he was watching me play and he was watching me speak my line and it was so scary because he was just, he's not an intimidating character but just like his, just you know, it's Will Smith, he's, you're in his movie, this is his movie, you know, and it's just like, it was, it was very cool though. He's a very, very nice, genuine, down to earth guy. And Saturday night, friends and family having a front row seat to see Sophia's close up in King Richard the film. They had a private screening right here at Studio Movie Grill with some popcorn. And even though it was a small part in the film, it meant the world to them. We've always loved the Williams sisters. And so just to be a part of this movie about them um, in a sport that we love, a family that we love. I mean, it's just been such an amazing experience. For 12-time Oscar-nominated songwriter Diane Warren, music is what helps us see and feel things deeply, whether it's the movie itself. When you walk away from a movie and you hear that song, when the song's done right, it's going to bring you back to that experience of that movie. And, you know, I try to write a song that gets to the emotional core of a movie. Um, and then in the best case scenario, we'll live outside of the movie as well. Or people. Making others feel seen is quite literally the message of her original song Oscar nomination this year for EOC, Seen, for Netflix's The Life Ahead, sung and co-lyricized by Laura Passini as part of the song is in Italian. Sophia Loren stars as Holocaust survivor Madame Rosa, who opens her home to 12-year-old street kid Momo shortly after robbing her. They even couldn't see each other at first, right? I mean, yeah. That's the thing is they don't even see each other. The world doesn't seem they don't see each other. But then, you know, Laura put it in a really beautiful way too. Laura Pozzini said it's, it's really about we create families with whoever, you know, we're with by love. But the, yeah, because the, the whole message of the song is, you know, it, it's about understanding and it's about seeing with your heart. And for decades, people have seen Warren write hit after hit. Warren's songs have been featured in over 100 movies. Her songwriting talent earning her now 12 Oscar nominations, not to mention a Grammy, two Golden Globes, and an Emmy. And it all started because someone chose to see her first. And she wants to recognize him, whether she wins on Sunday night or not. It would be nice. It would be nice, especially on, you know, just how they, they you know, push the Oscars a couple of months this time and it just landed on my dad's birthday and he was the first person to believe in me and you know wouldn't that be amazing the first person to see you yeah the first person to see me wow